Yo, this is Sind and Augie Sand here and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic morning and we finally have update 1.1.6 bringing along most importantly the reactor change. We have a bunch of other changes to module sockets. We have changes to like how you can get some modules. Some weapons have been updated as well as the special operations have been updated too. So the defense missions are a lot shorter now and they give you a ton of weapon XP. But the patch is also not without its negatives regarding the reactor implanting system. It's a really good system. It does work exactly how I thought it would. But the bad side is the material cost. It's quite a steep material cost. So you won't be able to do this every single day. You got to be really picky about which reactors you want to get because of the material cost. But we're going to cover all of that in this video. So without further ado, let's just hop straight into the patch notes. So the first ascendant update 1.1.6. Greetings descendants. There's a schedule, targeted platforms. And here we go into the first change reactor implant system. Now, like I was saying before, this works exactly like I thought it would. The first mounting that you find your reactor with is fixed. That one you can never change. So in this example, the Civgore's proof mounting, you can't change that. But then you can change these other two mountings. But you have to have these mini materials. You need 200 of these. I believe these are ion accelerators. These are what you use to upgrade reactors. But then you need 2000 of these. Now, that doesn't seem so bad. Except when you come in game and we go over to the research check over here to try and research them. Look how long these things take. So there's 2000 and I believe that was like a three, three hours and 20 minutes to get that. And then to go further than that for 10,000 was like 33 hours to take. So it's going to take a lot of crafting time. So you might want to hop onto these right away. And I also did encounter a bug with these earlier today. Uh, let's see if I can reenact it for you guys. But basically this thing went to like, okay, so that's 25 hours on 100. We need 200. That's like two two days just for one reactor. And this one, if we go, okay, this one was bugging out or the other one bugged out for me. But when I went to like 10,000, it said 333 hours. Now that, I don't know if that was a graphical bug, but I just logged out of the game and then I logged back in. And then it was only 33 hours. I know I say only 33 hours, but you do get 10,000 of them eventually. I believe it was this one that I'm crafting over here. So this one, it goes off depending on like which one you have more materials for kind of a thing. So like this one, we only have 19,000 of those materials and that already eats 10,000. So like to get the next one up would probably go, I don't know, 15, 20,000. So it kind of like goes off depending how many materials you have. But definitely you want to hop on crafting these right away because they are quite lengthy. And what I was doing, I could have crafted the higher up one, but that's going to take so much more hours. So if you actually work it out, crafting just as many as you need or as many as you want for now is actually better than crafting, you know, as many as you can at one go. Because you have a look at that one. That one's going to take 25 hours. And then if that could go higher up to like 200, it'll probably take like two, three days. So just make sure you are crafting them according to how you need them and try and craft less more often than crafting like the big one unless you you know you don't play that often and that's how you want to craft i'm just letting you guys know it's quite lengthy time period and it's also going to use quite a bit of resources now let's actually go have a look at the system itself it's pretty simple how it works come over here go implant reactor and then this this is my clay reactor that i've been saving now for months and weeks and days and however long so this is how it works. You see, I don't have the materials for it. It's only 10,000 gold. But then to implant the, the weapon condition, you have to actually implant it from another reactor. It doesn't matter the stats of the reactor because it's only going to consume the optimization condition. And I believe you have to pay for both of these. So like every single time you put one in, it's going to cost more. Correct me if I'm wrong. Obviously, I don't have the materials to try it out yet. But if you have tried it out, leave down below in the comments if it does actually cost these materials. To implant both or if it is this much per i'm pretty sure it's going to be this much materials per implant so it's going to be really expensive so we, you guys need to be picky about your reactors and don't just go implanting anything because i mean i've been playing this game since it came out and even we're going to run out of resources i'm definitely have to go farm those i believe this is from just dismantling reactors so we all got to hop on some reactor farms pretty soon but let's go back to the patch notes so that's how that works really great system but it's very pricey so you know be picky about which you want to implant and then obviously you'll have all three of those at the same time so you could in your inventory you can have the Sivagors, the last dagger and the final masterpiece it doesn't matter which one you have in your hands because that is the mounting condition so the 160 percent power boost will be met on any one of those weapons that you are using at any time so great there just very expensive be picky about that one and then we move down to the Albion resource defense improvements the location of the spec ops resource defense has been changed in kingston echo swamp and fortress field all waves have been shortened from 21 down to 10 so that's cut in half and some so it's going to be a lot lot faster than what it used to be significantly increase the number of common and commander monsters appearing so there's gonna be way more monsters for you guys to actually kill for more xp 
In general, champion monsters now drop buff items similar to spec ops mind block pay. So I guess buff items are those little things that you know give you like unlimited mana or unlimited ammo or something like that or no cooldowns or something like that. So yeah, they'll just make it a little bit quicker and more fun, I guess. The number and probability for interim review stage rewards and monster drop rewards has been changed for Albion Resource Defense interim review stage. Weapon proficiency XP reward has been added. So I think maybe you get that as like a mid stage when you get to the muddy, you know, you have to click go forward or go back. Now you get a big chunk of weapon XP. I'll definitely hop into that later today on stream and try it out. And then we have the module socket type auto application. So all this is going to do is you can't actually select the socket anymore. Let me just show you guys in game. So if I hop in game, you guys can see if I take all of these off, you'll see that if I went and saved that now, this would just show you so you can see, okay, well, this slot has a triangle and an M. This slot has a C and an R. So whatever you put in, that's going to automatically adjust to it. So you see there's an R. Let's see if we can put a C in there real quick. Let me just change this to C and C. You see, it just automatically adjusts it to what it has. So don't worry, you haven't lost any of your progress over there. You can't just can't have the little button anymore. So it's a little bit faster and better. I'm not going to save that so that it doesn't overwrite my build. But that's just a nice little addition there, I guess, to save you some time of like switching between. So you can definitely see what you have available and just auto assigns the slot. Uh, the Descendant Daily task has been added. So after the update, we have this whole event task. And this you can actually find in game. So very nice that they brought that back. If you press escape on PC, I don't know what it is on console, but you just need to get to the game menu over here. And you can see over here events. You just click events right there. And there you have it. Player missions, four out of four missions and you will get a million gold very nice two intercept battles these are all daily by the way so the green ones are daily there's a weekly one further down and then if you clear two intercept battles you get a bunch of materials these are all used for crafting crystallization catalyst so very nice it's not enough to make one but it's close enough so you know it's getting you there it's helping you out uh defeating 100 enemies which is going to be really fast if you play for like five minutes you'll complete 100 enemies and this will go to your mailbox i believe so this you can actually save up, although I have to double check on that. But I'm pretty sure it'll just go to your mailbox and you can just save them and hold them like I usually do. And then we get a 100,000 Kuiper if you enhance one module. So very really nice over there. Then if you combine modules, you actually get the, I believe these are for energy activators. So that's pretty nice, giving you some more energy activated material there too. And then if you move down to reactor enhancements, this is if you actually apply a new, you know, mounting to one of your reactors. So the reactor enhancement, that's really expensive. This is a weekly, so you have 91 hours to actually complete this. You will get a fully crafted crystallization catalyst as well as a resource. Oh man, that's nice. I haven't seen this before. That's a really nice resource box, especially the macromolecule biogel. That's really nice. Unfortunately, they gave us the green brain. I would have preferred the blue brain, but hey, figures can't be chooses. So we'll take that. Actually, it looks like the list may go down. I just can't scroll right now. So maybe you actually do get more materials. But again, this is something you're going to do hopefully within the week anyway. And I believe this is running for the next 21 days. So what's that? Like three weeks. So you should be able to get yourself three um, three of these. So three of these weekly over there. So you'll get three crystallization catalysts and then three of these resource boxes. And this is all going to be daily. So you could get like 21 million gold from this and a bunch of all of these materials. So make sure you're doing those if you are playing daily, of course. I mean, these are basically just going to complete themselves. I just log in and do my four um, invasion dungeons and doing those four already. They pretty much clear out everything over here except for, you know, like the intercept battle and then the module stuff over there. But everything else will pretty much autocomplete, which is doing your four invasion dailies for the day. And then we move down to the shop changes. The Twisted Worship body skin has been added. So basically what they did with the Twisted Body Worship is that they gave us a... If you've bought this one previously, in the mailbox you should receive a copy of the new one which doesn't have you know the butt flaps there it is right there i'm actually i don't want to claim these because i'm not sure if it claims to the character that i'm currently on so make sure that you're on the character that you want these on like i'm pretty sure if i pull these out now this will become a freighter one i have these on bunny and um Ailey, so i'm definitely log on to those before i claim these i might you know i'm just a little bit superstitious so who knows but maybe it doesn't happen maybe it does just make sure you are on the character when you pull it out just in case it doesn't go unless you want to change it up i guess if you want to see if you can get on another character you can go ahead and try that so if we come have a look at the actual differences the twisted worship the se version is the new one without the booty flap and then we have a look at this one this is the old one so just twisted worship this one does still have the penguin wings booty flap so up to you whichever one you would prefer to get i don't even know if you can oh you can still buy these so yeah you can still go ahead and buy these let's have a look how long are these lasting 35 days on these bundles so if you want to pick yourself up a booty flap or a non-booty flap and then we move further down we have ps5 pro enhancement updates so for all the ps5 pro guys it seems like your graphics and ray tracing and everything has been improved with amd frame gen resolution improvement as well 
So we move further down, we have content improvements to the Volga strategic outpost. The UI has been modified to show the count on the left mission tracker only when Sharon utilizes power units through infiltration. So basically, if you're not a Sharon and you're waiting for the Sharon to go and infiltrate, you should be able to like see the zero out of three or something like that kind of a marker. So you can have an indication of when the Sharon has actually infiltrated. So you can hop in and then just go and murder all the monsters. But pretty nice. Not, I mean, not too needed because usually when I'm on my Sharon, I'm either in, you know, private lobbies. And if I'm not on my Sharon, I'm just killing stuff regardless. Because if you want to do the Sharon, go on private, boys. It just, it is what it is. Uh, data collection mission. User participation in other missions can no longer acquire collection discs. Okay. The time limit has been increased to five minutes for all data collection missions for all fields. Those are the ones we've got to pick up the little balls. So pretty annoying, but it's good that they have made them less over there. Number of available discs has been increased. So now you can actually get more than what you need. So you can miss quite a few. Acquisition flow has been changed and the deployed moving actors have been rearranged into large ones. So the moving actors are probably the sort of moving platforms. They have been made bigger to make that mission easier. And then for the monsters, the guidance trajectory of the guided projectiles of common and commander monsters has been completely reorganized. So basically, they've reduced the tracking strength of like all of the commander monsters and the common monsters, especially the ones that shoot the, the poison stuff. Because like in those 100% dungeons, quite often you get to the boss and they have pinpoint accuracy from behind walls. Those projectiles, they will seek you out until the end of time. So hopefully that has made it quite a bit easier so we'll have to hop in game today and check that out to see what that feels like but it seems like pretty much every single boss of here has been nerfed in all of the dungeons infiltration operations the no ray zone has been deleted from the final battle section on normal difficulty okay well nobody plays normal so yep skip now on at 400 difficulty echo swamp the chapel is modified so the enhanced monsters appear evenly during the battle so kind of like a nerf instead of you know just appearing all the time then we have normal difficulty level rewards the level of normal difficulty content has been lowered overall okay so now you can get to hard mode faster i guess enhanced normal tier modules will be awarded upon completion of the main quest for each field from kingston to hagios rewards for already completed quests will not be given retroactively so you don't get like a double dip with all these new rewards if you've already completed normal mode and then we have weapons and modules really nice over here so some improvements these are the weapon upgrades the final masterpiece it seems like it's got a whole rework balancing around like elemental stuff because this has a pulsing shock and then if you shoot that it does the other one which is like frost damage and then this one is like a poison damage over there so we're not going to cover this too in depth but it seems like this the final masterpiece has been completely reworked so we'll definitely have to check that out and see how that feels i mean the elements in the game don't really seem to do too much so hopefully the elements will start to matter at some point and then if we have a look at the albion cavalry gun when hitting an enemy, mark effect is applied to target and hitting an enemy with the effect, the critical hit rate is increased and applied. When a critical hit occurs, ricochet occurs on surrounding enemies with high ratio of current HP to maximum HP and enemies hit by the ricochet are given a stun effect. When you keep shooting continuously, you'll be given the horseshoe effect and your movement speed while firing and movement speed while aiming will increase. So doesn't really seem too great there. I mean, the ricochet does sound good, so we'll definitely have to hop in game and try that out. Uh, the perforator next up when a critical hit occurs or a weak point is hit an explosive scanner is created now, an explosive scanner explodes when it touches terrain or enemies causing damage to enemies within the explosion range and providing the detect effect so when hitting an enemy with the detect effect the weak point damage is increased and applied so maybe you can apply a weak point is an aoe now because of this explosive scanner thing so maybe the perforator can actually be a mobbing weapon i have no idea if oh, that just boosts its single target damage or boosts its aoe Definitely have to go check that out. I actually haven't maxed out my perforate yet because that thing is like the worst thing to farm in the game. All right, then move on. Even if you cannot acquire any more modules because you have the maximum number of modules, if you attempt to acquire a dropped transcendent module, it will be treated as a lost. But you guys know what happens when something is lost, it can be found. So that will go to your mailbox. So that's really good. So basically, if you're capped out on your modules and a transcendent module drops, so the red mods, then it'll actually now go to your mail. If you walk over, just make sure you go and try and pick it up then it counts as like a lost module farming destinations for sub modules have been added so a lot of these modules that you could only get through combining now they actually have ways to obtain them in game so definitely have to go check that out and as you guys can see there is your favorite mod that everybody always complains about in every video is the shot focus it seems like it's a spelling folk uh, seems like there's a spelling error there but that is definitely going to be shot focus so go check shot focus out i'll have to make a video for you guys how to actually farm up shot focus now but you should be able to get it in game instead of you know just combining so good luck and hopefully you guys get it pretty soon 
And then if we move down, this is UI UX changes. So I'm not going to cover those too deeply because it's just a few like UI changes. The text exclude junk has been adjusted. Preset slot increased. It does have increased in my shrink benefits. Just a bunch of little, you know, odds and ends with UI UX changes. Uh, others, what do you got there? Some controls for console, reactor. Okay, so just some control fixes, bug fixes. We got a bunch of bug fixes here. I don't see anything overly interesting. Uh, descendants fixing issue when animation effect displayed. Alice fire harm. I don't see anything overly crazy there too. I will leave this down in the description. So if you guys want to check out the bugs and everything, go ahead and check it out. Weapons and modules. Okay, here we go. The notation method for numerical calculation in ultimate weapons unique ability information window has been unified. In the case of addition operation, it is indicated as plus. In case of multiplication operation, it is indicated as a percentage. So multiplicative scaling is going to show itself as a percentage, I guess. And then additive scaling is going to show itself as a plus is what I'm understanding. Uh, the marker icon for the Ghani Lance installed in King's Guy Lance has been modified so that only the player owned is exposed. Okay, so you can only see your own marker so you don't have to go try and shoot other people's ones and not have them like extend fix an issue where the shield recovery function on the shield collector module did not work Alrighty. when wearing modules that increase the stats below the stats have been modified so that they are not displayed separately in the module window but are displayed as correct sum text scale power modifier dimension singular and fusion scale power mo oh okay so they're showing modifiers i guess they've fixed that or something uh, UI UI fix, some more UI fixes as to the special operations, the white knight gold stuff. When attempting to replace same module, customization fix an issue where JBS size appeared constricted when wearing his gentlemanly skin and summer vacation skin. Okay. Fix an issue where some borders of Luna's pool party skin bottoms looked empty. Others, Glay. What says fix an issue where uh, small devil wings and small angel wings change included limited skin. Blah 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 blah. blah. So, not too much going on here. But from the director, we have a message on October 31. We plan to share the dev team's thoughts and directions regarding key suggestions raised by descendants since the season one update. A dedicated community Q&A will be posted covering topics such as combat, content, products and customizations to provide detailed responses. We apologize for not having been able to fully engage with you as we focus on updates and hotfixes. Please look forward to the community Q&A on October 31st for more information. Thank you for your interest and we are always listening to your feedback. Thank you, thank you. So that is the update, guys. Biggest changes for me. Obviously, you can get pretty much all the combined mods. You should be able to farm in game somewhere now. So really nice, especially for all you shoot focus enjoyers. There you go. Go out and farm that up. Weapon changes. I'm a little bit disappointed. I think the Albin Cavalry Guard might actually be pretty decent. Perforator, I mean, has always been decent. And the final masterpiece, I'm not so sure about that one, but I'll definitely have to go play around with it and test it out changes to the commanders and the common monsters so they won't be as you know freaking ultra precise with their shooting much much nicer and more comfy now for when you go around your dungeons uh these ones don't change too much that one's not too much the shop you now get the booty flap option so if you want to see a booty there you go the send a daily task event really nice event i like how it's actually in game and you don't have to go look for it somewhere else the module socket auto application really nice too just you know you don't have to go ahead and like ch change your the module socket type auto app really nice i do like how this just auto adjusts and saves me the time from going to have to like select the right socket uh the albion resource defense improvements will definitely have to go try those out because i do like doing defenses they just took way too long and then finally the reactor implants now this is mostly positive except like i said before the time that you need to craft all these things is going to take a lot and it's also a lot of materials you need so get crafting because you guys will need a ton of materials. But other than that, W patch, I like the direction the game is going. Can't wait to see what the next stuff we get in Season 2. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you liked it. Let me know down below in the comments what is your favorite thing about the patch and what do you think about the reactor implant system. And if you liked the video, please drop a like and sub the channel. Helps me out so much and I'll catch you beautiful people in the next video as well as the live streams. Augie okay, said now. Run free. And dive into the sky Hear the